So we've arrived in Nashville and I asked the geezer at the airport whereabouts you pick up cabs from and uh, he was like, cool blimey mate, you want to get a cab do ya? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then basically he was so busy having a joke with me that um, he pointed me in that direction that I don't know if I was ever supposed to go there. Before I knew it, I ended up on the, the motorway and the motorways over here are huge so... I saw like some McDonald's signs and stuff in the distance. I thought, look, I'm just going to run towards it. And there's all these cars thinking, what's this geezer doing running along the motorway? But anyway, we're here and I've just uh, stopped into a Waffle House. You vlog? Are you a YouTuber? I've done a bit of everything. Are you a vlog though? Uh, I don't know what I'd quite call myself. It's for my Instagram page. I went for the all-star special, which is a little bit of everything. I ordered my eggs sunny side up. It's something I've always wanted to say. However, when they came, they looked like they'd been cooked on a car bonnet. But you reckon them eggs were cooked? Sunny side up. But they weren't cooked. <laughs> the, the, the yolk's not going to, it's going to be running. Oh. It's going to be side up. Over easy, please. Look, it's a bit of fun. Go get your Instagram picture and never return because it will most likely give you gastric problems. So just to give you some context, so that's the Bridgestone Arena. This is Mount to the, uh, But this is Broadway and the whole way down here is bars. And every bar has like a rooftop bar on it. And every floor has live music. Now, obviously, Broadway is the tourist trap, so expect to pay a little bit more money along this strip. However, it's a lot of fun. I went into Rippies for a rack of ribs. It was delicious at 20 bucks. I had a great time. I also went over to Kid Rock's bar, and by this point, I was a little bit done with all the barbecue food, so I got a Caesar salad, and I'd definitely recommend this as well. This is Hattie B's. It's a chicken gaff. And uh, apparently it's really good, but the queue, it's like the Queen's funeral. So we, we skipped it earlier at lunch because it's like, it's too long, but it appears that the queue's not going down. So it must be worth it and we're gonna wait in line and find out. We're waiting for about 40 minutes until we decided, you know what, it's just not worth it. We've got Nashville to explore, baby. Don't wanna just be standing in a queue all night. <laughs> Excuse me, lads. We couldn't be bothered to wait anymore for the queue. Can you tell me what is it? Is it good? Oh wow, oh my, what a, what a fine gentleman. It's all right, it ain't, all right. it ain't all that, is it? You got better in London? Well, Chick-fil-A's doing better than this, I think. No shot. No? You had a great time here? I haven't got my food yet. <laughs> oh, right, well, there you go. Well, mate, thank you so much, man. It's really kind. I was there. It is a long, another long wait after you sit down. Right. In order. Wow. Thank you so much. So we finally made it in Hattie B's. I saw the queue wasn't that big and I thought, I've got to come in. So here we go. That's really quite delicious. Crispy. Super crispy. Nice. Chicken. Which is lovely. And I'm not even, there's nothing to slag off about it. But the waiting time, I don't think it justifies waiting that long. I'll tell you what is really nice when you put the chicken in your bread to make a little sandwich. And then I'm dying to try the apple just because it's so random. I've not, I've not seen apple as a side before. Oh, is it yeah. good stuff? Cinnamon sugar apple. Yeah. This is so much better than the, what the chicken would have ever been. And what a view. What a view. Right. I'm going to try the apple just because... Um... I mean, it's absolutely delicious. It's cinnamon apple. I don't know why I'm... It's a, like part of the main and not dessert. 
Mashed potato and gravy in America hits differently, man. <laughs> if you ever get asked, do you want gravy? Just say yes. So we're at Jack's Barbecue. Do it. Phenomenal. So this is Varallo's. And when I googled it, it's one of the oldest places in Nashville. Opened in 1907, so let's check it out. So this place specializes in the chili. This is what they're known for, what they've been doing for a hundred years. This is the combo, came in at uh, 11 bucks with a real cheese sandwich. It's great chili. I went for it three ways, I don't really know what that means. It's got this in it, I'm not really sure what that is either. Cool. Tamamil or something? Oh wow, it's like a pasta with minced beef inside it. Yeah, nice. I mean, it tastes like it all could have come out of a tin, but it's good fun. And this place is wicked. They do, And they do all sorts of stuff here, by the way. I just wanted to try what they have always done. But they do like chicken and breakfast and stuff like that. Definitely recommend coming in, it's really cool. This place is Martin's Barbecue Joint and I stumbled across it by chance, popped in and I had a great time. I definitely recommend it. I know this chicken don't look all that, but it was actually really nice. And that chili, it was a side order. It was the bollocks. So before Nashville, I was in Orlando and we went to this bar and got chatting to these two lovely geezers and one of them said, yo, my friend lives in Nashville. You should totally hook up with him, then you're there. So here we are with Brandon, he's a mate, and he took us to Twin Peaks, which is like a tame version of Pooters. He then took us off Broadway, which is where the locals like to go to save a few bucks and to get away from all the tourists. So Brandon's just stopped off quickly to this random building here. No, no signs or anything. You wouldn't even know it's here. But it's actually a speakeasy bar, just on the low key. Only the locals know about it. So we're just we in this bar and they got madness going on. The kids are playing up downstairs. Uh... This place was cool, it was like a three-in-one experience. The White Duck Tacos, Yeehaw Beer and Old Smokey's Moonshine. So whatever you fancy is here and you can just sit back, enjoy the beverages and the food and the baseball. Shout out to America in general for having the iced tea on tap. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Milk and Honey had great reviews and it was a much needed experience after a night out. So we popped in here for an upmarket breakfast. Yeah, you Over easy, please. The doctor feel good. I need some sort of goodness in me. Cool. It's got some real kick to it. Ginger. Ginger, yeah. What we got in there? That's phenomenal. So soft. Crispy, salt. This place is the iconic Bluebird Cafe. You're not really coming here for the food, you're coming for the music, but I ordered a cheesecake, so I thought I'd add it to this video anyway. And that brings my food tour of Nashville to a conclusion. Yeehaw! <laughs>